Hi guys, we are down here at Nelson Golf Club, our home course, on this lovely winter morning. Isn't it beautiful? No. No. It's cold. Yeah, <laughs> so we're going to answer some of your questions, so thanks for asking them. Yeah. So in no particular order. Yeah, we'll start with? Uh, our, our Australian friend, Matt Dumbbell. One of a few Australian friends, yeah. actually. Yeah. So, good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> was that good? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Yeah, so you've asked a few questions. So we'll start off with an easy one, bucket list courses. Bucket list courses. Yeah. I'm not very good with courses. I don't know many around the world. No. But I'm going to go first so you don't steal mine. No, he's going to steal mine anyway. <laughs> we, dis we discussed this a second ago. We both have the same course we'd want to play. I want to go and try and play at Trump International because right. I think that looks awesome. He just changed his answer. <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Wayne? Where so, do you want to play? Where I want to play, so the course I'd love to play in the world is Wolf Creek. Um, it's one of them courses I saw back in the day on Tiger Woods. On the, the on golf the game. game. Yeah, and back then I didn't know anything about golf. I didn't know it was a real course. And when I found out where, I thought that looks awesome. Yeah, yeah, it does look amazing. Yeah, it's just one of them courses though that seems to be not in great condition very often. So when it is, that'd be perfect. I'd love to play that course. Yeah, if you don't know what it is, uh, we'll put some pictures up now. Yeah. And it looks amazing. It's well smart. Yeah. Lots of cliffs and stuff, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Right, let's move on to another question. <laughs> right, Quizmaster, what's next? Right, so this next question is from our mate Baz. Bazza. Barry Edwards. Yep. Um, he's asking, let's take a look at the question. Favourite favorite style course player to date? Yeah. Have you ever played a Lynx course? And if not, are you looking forward to doing so? Well, first of all, we have played a Lynx course, haven't we? We played at Blackpool North. Yeah, Blackpool North Show, which is right around your corner. It is, Barry, yeah, yeah. right around your it's corner. It's supposed to be a Lynx. It's not the hardest Lynx in the world. It's like playing in a big field. We played it in winter, though, didn't we? Yeah, we played in winter. We played it in winter, so I don't think we've got the proper Lynx feel. However, that's the only time we've played a Lynx course, isn't it? Yeah, we do planning on meeting up with you sometime soon to play at Fleetwood. Yeah, we're playing Fleetwood uh, actually next week, hoping to vlog there as long as it's not snowy and icy like this. Because yeah. it's a bit rubbish. So, favourite style course? I do like woodland courses, parkland courses. I do like being out in the trees. I don't, because I don't like being in the trees. No. <laughs> um, I prefer quite open courses like we played in... Portugal, like Silves was, Silves, Silves was my favourite course that I played. Yeah. So whatever style that is, I like that one. Yeah. Somewhere with sunshine. Some yeah, a okay. sunshiny course. That's what I like. <laughs> yeah. All right. Is that right. answered? Answered. I think so. So we'll move on to another hole and another question. Right. Next question. I've had to take a, a layer off for this one. <laughs> so this one's by Peter Emerson. And he's asking, how do we get our handicaps down? Where did they start and where are they now? Um. Well, to start off with, we start at the start of the season, I started on 15. And I started on 14.2. And I ended the season on 9.7 and it ended on? 9.7. I ended up on 11.0. So how do we get it down? Well... It's a very good question. By the the way. first thing we actually started with was getting some lessons fixing our golf swing. Yeah, yeah. We knew that our swing needed improvement, so yeah, we set to uh, set to work on that, didn't we, first? We did. So we've got some of them videos up on our channel, so if you're not seeing them, go check them out. Yep. And the other thing is, we just played and practiced as much as we could. Yeah, I mean, short game for me is where I've saved loads of, loads of shots. Yeah. Um, and keeping things on the fairway, because I used to lose so many balls. Yeah. Whereas now, I don't lose as many. Yeah, so we put extra work into things we're weak at, but we still practice the things we're good at. Yeah, and just keep playing. Um, me and Wayne together, I think because we play so much together and because we practice so much together, we tell each other what we're doing wrong and we just keep each other going, yeah. don't we? Yeah, and filming each other helps. That's kind of how this kind of started. Yeah. So I'm filming our shots, see where we're going wrong and how we can fix things. So that, I think, is how we got our handicaps yeah. down. And also, we kind of push each other to do better. If one of us gets a bit better, the other one has to catch it up all the time. Yeah, yeah. So that's how we keep improving. It's like the it? trophies this year, isn't it? It is. Because I won one, he had to win two. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so good question. We'll move on to the next, next question. Right. Right, guys, moving on. Yeah, so this next question has come from Richard Ayres. Uh, best advice on practice regime. Mm. What you do, short, long, and putting game splits for all those amateurs who have jobs? Well, yeah, I mean, we've got full time jobs. We do this and we try and practice. It's hard to get as much practice in as we it do. 
especially if you've got a family as well so you're not going to get a lot of time away from your kids i think we do all right we've got very understanding partners we do they support us yeah so yeah we still manage to get on the course at least four times a week in summer we do um if we can get on the course during winter we'll play friday saturday sunday yeah apart from that you can't in winter yeah. there's not enough light yeah but so the split between long short and putting what what do you think that you practice most not enough of any of them to be honest no we we don't practice what we do is we come and play on a course yep. over and over and over again if we do do any practice then generally we do short game practice don't we yeah well, a lot of short game practice um we did spend a lot quite a lot of time last winter at the driving range yep hitting balls but since then we've not really done any practice have yeah. we long game so if you can get to the driving range that'll take you an hour while you're there yeah. So go do that as often as you can. If you can get on a short game area, go practice that as often as you can. Yeah. One of the things I suggest you work on is quite a bit of experimentation. Mm. And what I mean by that is you might have 15, 14 clubs in your bag. Unless you've got 15, that's cheating. <laughs> but um, it doesn't mean you've got 14 shots. So you could have, for example, uh, a lot of work around the greens is what I'm mainly on about. Is You can use one wedge to do multiple shots. You don't just do one shot. Based on ball position and weight. Ball position, open your face up, close your face. Mm -hmm. So just experiment. I mean, I'll go on the course and I'll experiment. I'll have a few bad rounds, but it's worth it in the long run. Yeah, so. but we, we just tend to play it on the course yeah. and experiment while we're on the course and get angry. The, but that's not what you should do, guys. No. You should get down to a practice area. But you've got, all, angry, yeah, there you've got all winter to do that now, so do it in winter and then, then play, with the what you've got, yeah, play with what you've got during summer. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we'll move on to the next question, next hole. Thanks for the question. Let's move on. Okay, Wayne, are you ready for a quick fire round? I'll try and make it as quick as we can. Quick fire. Go. Right. First one, Ken Eckert. Yep. Are you looking for new products to review? New products? Always. Yes. And down to Sam Punchard, the teaching professional that does give him us. It's all down to him. So thank you, Sam. Yep. But anybody else that wants to send us stuff, we'll review it. It's fine. Yeah. Next. Uh, underneath that, Jacob S. Okello. Okello, yeah. What's and he says, name? kiss, kiss, kiss. For me? No, that's for me. <laughs> I think you're a fan of me. I think it's for me. Right, anyway. Because you're ugly. I'm thanks. Right. Thanks for the love, guys. Yeah, thanks for the love. Right, right. Um, Jeff Harris, best bit of golf tech. Ooh. For me, it's any kind of range finder, uh, GPS kind of thing. Oh, I was going to say range finder. I use a laser range finder, and yeah, so do you. So do I, yeah. Uh, I don't use a GPS watch. I don't particularly think they're any use. No. Unless you've got lots of blind shots on your course, I guess. Yeah, I get the other side of where we live. There's a got Burnley Golf Course, which is lots of bland tee shots and lots so, of yeah, bland greens. That could come in handy on that kind of course. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah but range finder for me. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah, I would like I would like game golf, but I can't afford it. So yeah, tough isn't it. Tough, right? <laughs> Next, I've lost the questions. We've got him. Not very good. It's quick fire here. Right, back with Matt Dumble again. Hey Matt. Right, you've asked us a few questions, so we'll, we'll try and answer as many as we can. Um, will you ever do a club trial vlog, i.e. take a, num a new club out on the course in place of your gamer and see how it compares? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, I think we should do that, yeah. I think we should do, and I'd love to. And like I say, it all comes down to Sam, whether he'll allow, allow us to do that. Yeah, I think yeah. like a, a wood or something like that, I think he'd probably let us do that. Yeah. Um, uh, but a set of irons? Hmm, yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I think you might get a different opinion playing on the course instead of using a simulator in the GC2. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, good question, and we'd like to, is the answer. We'd like to. Should we do one more? We'll do one more while we're here. Right then. Right, we'll go for Stephen Daisy Alfred Lander. That's, that's a... It's a long name. Yeah, it's a long name. <laughs> it's, not your real, it's not your real name, is it? Right, you've got a few questions in one. Let's go right. for the first bit. Any plans for a special celebrity or guests? Uh, celebrity guests, yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> female celebrities. Yeah. Hot ones. Yeah? Yeah. You know any? <laughs> Send them our way. No, we'd love to. Guests, so you know that is something we do like to do. We like to come and see you guys. We do, yeah. We like to do um, a bit of a vlog with the subscribers, and yeah. we like to take you on on your own course. Yeah, so I would imagine that everybody's going to comment now saying, "Come and play my course. Come play my course." But we are very busy, and we'll try our we'll best try. to try and play yeah. you guys. I think, yeah. The nearer you are, the more likely it will happen if you're like over an hour and a half away. Or start. in Australia, that's going to be quite difficult. <laughs> yeah, man. However, yeah. somebody is coming over from Australia to come play. Yes. So, we'll see. Well, he's coming over, not to play us, but while he's here, we might play each other. It's quite a sunny letter. Yeah. Uh, will that do? Shall we move on? Um, what else did you ask though, Steve? Um, how about doing another course management risk reward video? Yeah, I think that people seem to enjoy that last time we did it. That uh, was a while ago, that wasn't it? It was a while ago. We got some good feedback with that video. Um, 
Yeah, I think we might have to get around to doing another one of them. Yeah, I think we're probably better at deciding what to do now as well. Yeah. I think our course management is a lot better than it used to be. Yeah, I think so. We've learned from our mistakes. Which is, I guess, one of the reasons our handicap's down yeah. again. Yeah, and when are you coming to play me in Brum? I'll always say, if we can, we'll come. And uh, hopefully we, will ca we can make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So let's have a change of scenery and answer some more questions. Let's go to the next hole. Right, guys, we're at the 17th. It's almost done. Let's just finish off a few questions. Yeah, so we've got Matt again. He did ask us quite a lot of questions. He's very inquisitive, aren't you, Matt? Yeah, he just like to know a lot about us. <laughs> right, so what clubs are you looking forward to testing this year? I'm definitely looking forward to testing the Titleist Irons, the 716. Yeah. The muscle back ones in particular. Very pretty. They are gorgeous, and yeah. I really want to hurt my hands by a thinning one. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, Win? I'd like to do some putter testing. Oh. There's so many different putters out there, so many different styles and everything, and how much difference do they really make? So you want to you you learn a bit? I want to learn a bit, yeah. I'd like to, you know, widen my knowledge a little bit. Broaden your horizons. Yes. Well, luckily, we've got the Sam Putt Lab at Sam's Putt Lab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At the studio, so we're going to get to do that. We're going to get to mess about with the Sam Putt Lab and see what the differences between the uh, the putters yeah which is pretty awesome yeah because there's so many to choose from and if you don't know anything about golf really how do you know what putty to you, use yeah to use well what, what, what would you, suits your game yeah i mean what would you approach and take out to test how would you know that might be the, you know that's well, what you want really when i chose my putter i just went off feel yeah off feel if it first first of all they got to look good if they look good then i go and try them and yeah. if they feel good that's when you buy them yeah but other than that, we don't know much about them, so I'd no, like to no. do a lot of putter testing. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good, yeah. Yeah, so... What else we got? Just do one more. One more? Just one more. Right then. Seeing as... Right, the other guy, Jeff Harris, you asked a few questions. You did? Uh, what kind of clubs you regret selling? Um, none really. I did sell my putter and get a new one. Sometimes I regret it, other times I don't, so... Really? Yeah. Um, I've not really sold any clubs. We've not been playing that long, No. so... Right, so we'll answer your your last question. Aims for the 2017 season. Oh, now that is a good question. Now then, this season, I've got a couple of aims. Obviously, getting to single figures. Is your arm tired? Yeah. Right, I'll hold this. Again. <laughs> Thanks. This piece is getting tired. I am getting tired. Right. Right, so I'm definitely going to try and get down to single figures. That's obviously an aim. But another thing I want to do is properly draw a drive. All I want to do is learn how to keep a draw on my drive. Keep it on the fairway. That's going to be a proper aim. That's your aim. I'm going to badger Sam to death to help me out with that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, when we're up at the, the simulator and the camera turns off, Pete likes to practice his drive. We'll be there half an hour watching him hit a fade. Oh, I forgot to say, Pete. <laughs> I forgot to say. It's a fade, it's a fade, it's a fade, it's a fade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So my aims are, as Pete said as well, not only try and get down single figures, try and get as low as we can. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. And I'd like to win a competition as a team. Uh, yeah, we never do well as a team, do we? No. Well, sometimes wanna, there are thereabouts. But... I want to go and play another course and just rinse it as yeah. me and you. Yeah. As a duo. Yeah, we seem to play just one of us plays well. Yeah. yeah we which do. is quite annoying. So there's never a day where we both play really well. So guys, thank you for those questions. We yeah. hope you've enjoyed it. Your little insight into us by asking us questions. Yeah. You probably know us already anyway. We're just idiots that film when we play yeah. golf. Yeah. So um, if you're not on our Facebook group and you're watching this video, come and find us, join the group, and uh, we'll, we'll try well, we, this again. We, we post quite a lot, so yeah. if you join us on the Facebook group, you can ask questions, you can do all sorts, and we're pretty interactive. We yeah. try and keep on top of most of, uh, most of the posts. Yeah. And we all so, get to know each other. Yeah. Nice. yeah. We're all in this together. Yeah. It's all one game, hitting a little ball, isn't it? Yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Also, give this a thumbs up. Yeah, give us a thumbs up. Maybe yeah. two. Just show your support. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. We'll see you next time, guys. All right, see you later. Bye.